also have a new song out with Brian Kelly, who's half of Florida Georgia Line. Yes, Want to talk yes. about that one? Oh, man, you know, I've been patiently waiting to do a record with uh, Florida Georgia Line, and I got a chance to do the record with Brian Kelly. You know, it's a bit of the of the country vibe mm -hmm. and things like that. Shout out to my and uh, Mike Cameron, who you always try to push the needle and do things and show my versatility. And shooting this record, I mean, doing this record, man, you know, it's definitely one of those things, you know, I could take off the bucket list. <laughs> Yeah. So you're kind of transitioning over to country, which is pretty cool. I know Florida Georgia Line broke up. Do you mm -hmm. know why? I don't know why, but I'm happy and I'm fortunate to, you know, at least. I mean, you could slide right into that over the spot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so are you ready to Florida do the Georgia Line? Yeah, right. Exactly. Are you ready to to take on the whole country vibe, the whole country scene? Most definitely. You know, I've been doing a couple of records, and and, and you know, years ago I've right. done some. Right, Walker Hayes. Yes, yeah, so shout out to my brother Walker the Hayes. High song. You know, and shout out to his him and his entire family doing all the TikToks and things like that. <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, Walker Hayes, I got a chance to go and perform with him, see, you know, get the, the feeling of it live, things like that. And, um, you know, I'm just living life and just trying to be versatile and, you know, show, you know, the fact that music can transcend and do different things. And, you know, um, it moves the needle with the world. I mean, I love, you know, going to Memphis and, you know, getting that, you know, my first time going to Memphis was like, couple years ago but I got a chance to really embrace it you know by spending more time there and I just love the whole country vibe. I know that you have worked with many names Pitbull one of my, my boys. brother Mr. 305 Robin the original Vic, which I, that was, I was actually gonna say <laughs> let, let's take it back to Pitt Mr. 305 did yes. he have to turn to Mr. Worldwide because you are Flo Rida? Of course nah nah because <laughs> <laughs> to me you would be more Mr. Mr. Worldwide or Mr. International you'd be more Mr. 305 because you are the <laughs> entire state of Florida <laughs> you know but that's why he has to be Mr. Worldwide I'm assuming that also you, you did stuff with Robin Thicke Jason Derulo Will I Am Sia Nelly Furtado Akon David Get. I mean the list just goes on and on <laughs> Who is next? Who would be your dream collaborator? First and collaborator? foremost, humbly speaking, like when you say all of those names, I could just recall not even, you know, just me dreaming of being an artist and to hear all those names. You know, these are guys that I look up to. Um, I was fortunate to go on tour with Beyonce years ago in Australia, wow. and I've yet How to do a collaboration with her, so I would love to do one. Man, it was just like over the top. It was a dream come true. I got a call from Beyonce to go on tour with her. That from was her, like, herself? Yes. What did she say? I mean, basically, they reached out to my team and, you know, they said that, you know, she was going to Australia and she would like for me to come out there and join her. And we had a phenomenal time each and every night. You know, Beyonce goes out there and gives it her all. So I had to, you know, try to match that energy. And, you know, and at the end of the tour, she was just like, you know, you, you guys were so amazing. And I mean, that's Beyonce. That is. That <laughs> is. So did you get a chance to ever really hang with her or was it more like kind of just in passing backstage? I mean, I got a chance to hang out with her um, dancers and um, the rest of her squad and things like that. And I got a chance to see her time and time again, you know, um, you know, backstage and things like that. But she was a very busy person. So. Well, I mean, she is touching upon the whole country vibe now with the Cowboy yes. Carter yes. album. And you want to do the whole country thing, too. So I kind of see a collab possibly. Let's make it happen. You works. know, she's she's you know, she's from happen. Houston. So what other, you know, got to I mean, make it happen. She had to do something in that sector, you know, I think. But um, I would love to do something with her. The fact that, you know, I've done a couple of country records myself.